We are a biofuel company. So this raw material represents where we start. So we start with cellulosic raw material. In this case, wood chips. We can use different kinds of trees, ranging from poplar to eucalyptus. You can grow those trees very densely, and once it's harvested, there's no need to replant it. The poplar will actually sprout again from the root. The advantage that we have in this process is the yield. This is our selling story. We get, compared to corn ethanol, which is how ethanol is produced today, we can produce about seven times more for the same plot of land. So what we do is we use heat and we use dilute sulfuric acid and we break the structure of the wood. So we can get to the sugar and from there we can go into a fermentation. So we go to very fairly high temperature, up to 200 C even, and we do not want it to leak at that temperature. So we like using the best, so we use swage lock and we use it for our valves, our tubes, the connections. We use it for the relief. We have a, a relief valve from swage lock. Basically, a lot, all of the fittings here. The advantage is we, we don't have to think. We just get the swage lock and we know it can take the pressure and we know it's not going to leak. From the pre-treatment, we separate the cellulose from the lignin into small molecules of sugar. We can put them in a fermenter where we add a microorganism. The microorganism will digest the sugar and produce acetate. Once we are done with the fermentation, we go into a chemical processing step. It's a two-step process to go from the acetate into an ester solution. Uh, first, we do this high temperature extraction. And then you can see we have a lot of those swage lock fillings everywhere. We use them for a lot of things. We use them to control flow, for example. We use it, this is a pressure relief valve that we actually use as a back pressure regulator. So after we went through the chemical processing, we go through a process called hydrogenation. And we take a fraction of the wood, as you remember, there was cellulose and there was lignin. The cellulose we use in the fermentation. And we made the sugar and then we make the ester. You take the lignin and take it through a process called gasification, and then you produce hydrogen from that process. You take the hydrogen, combine it with the ester, and then you make our product, which is ethanol. The selling point of a startup company is that we can do it faster than, than big corporations. So things change fast, and there is no time to wait for parts. We use everything from swage lock that can come fast. If it doesn't come fast, we use something else. Pressure gauges from swage lock are great, but they don't come fast. I mean, on the other unit I show you, there was about a thousand dollar of gauges, but they're not swage lock. I mean, I needed them the day after, so I had to get something else. When you got a swage lock tubing and a swage lock fitting, you know they're gonna fit really nice. They're always gonna go into each other and they're always going to be really tight. Here we have, um, these are some compression fittings we got from McMaster, and these are the swage locks. And really what we like about swage lock, it's pretty. <laughs> it just looks good, you know, that's what really, you know, guys, we like toys. And we really like our stuff, besides that it doesn't leak, we really like it to look good. So um, we want it here fast, we want it easy to order it, we don't want to spend all day on the computer. We want easy catalogs. We do design our own system and we want to know every part. We want the technical data and we want it easy to read. So I can read it, know what it does, put it together and make it work.